Jade. Great job as we set up. Our tale of the Buster tape is brought to you by Dave and Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. Big advantage experience-wise for Castillo. Well, you're looking at the record he's got more fights, but the actual fight experience and who he's fought and where he's fought goes with Guillermo Bomba. All right, let's get the official introductions from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator and the main now stays with the welterweight division set for three five-minute rounds. We introduce the blue corner first at five foot eleven, weighing in 169.8 pounds. His professional record: 15 wins, eight losses. Fighting out of Ensenada, Mexico, presenting Ivan Choco Castillo. And across the cage is adversary. Tonight fighting out of the red corner at six foot one, weighing in 168 and one half pounds. As a professional, tonight he enters with nine victories, four losses. Originally, though Brazil, he fights out of Los Angeles, California, presenting Guilherme Bombo Bosconcela. In charge of the action, your referee, Frank Trigg. Frank Trigg, our referee. Big John McCarthy is now on TV. Well, you're talking on TV talking. more. As opposed to just being bossy, <laughs> Frank Trigg is our referee. Okay, right there. Right there. Right there. Bumba and Ready? Castile. Ready? Fight! Here we go! Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Bumba in the red gloves, Castillo in the blue gloves. Castillo came out really nice, hard lower leg kick. Bomba's a guy who he likes to keep a fast pace, so we'll see if he's able to do that with Castillo. Fighting out of Hollywood, but born in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, BH. Castillo fighting out of Ensenada, Mexico. Both men with significant experience. Big swing and a miss. The big difference you're seeing in their experience is just who they fought and where they fought. Castillo's got more fights, but it's in lower level organizations with lower level fighters than what Bomba's been against. Bomba fighting for the fourth time inside the Bellator cage. The Bellator debut for Castillo. The chance of Bomba. It's always good when you got a rooting section. Absolutely. Makes you feel good. Bomba's gym back in Brazil, the BH Rhinos. BH for Belo Horizonte. Good combination. Just missed. That was a big right hand by Bomba. Beautiful job. Gets the position over the head. Nice trip. Takes the back. Smart fighting right now. This is the position where Bomba has the huge experience difference. Castillo likes to fight in the stand-up. Bomba's got a very tight ground game. Right now, it's in a wrestling ride. Bomba needs to just control that leg, keep that leg up off of the ground. That'll help him keep Castillo down on where he wants him to be. Two minutes into this three-round fight. Good job of Castillo to get back to his feet. He's already got that arm. He needs to swing that arm around the right side of Bomba so he can center up, get to a 50-50 position with it. Quick shot as they clinch. And right there, you see he made a mistake. His mistake was he should have brought that arm down and underneath. Instead, he brought it over the top of the head, and that's why Bomba was able to get him back to the ground. Bomba trying to posture up and do some damage here early. 27-year-old Ivan Castillo, 31-year-old Guillermo Bomba. It's a good half guard position. This is a very tough position. When a guy gets in half guard and has you up against the cage, you've got to think about where you're going to go if you're Castillo. If he's going to try to trade punches right now, he's going to be on the losing side because he can't generate the power that Bomba can being in the top position. Bomba's wins inside the Bellator cage by rear naked choke and by knockout. 
I can't see if Bamba has what we would call a lace on that bottom arm. He does. You can see that he's got a lace on the bottom arm. That knee came very close to hitting him in the head. But he's got his arm. That left arm of Castillo's is trapped under his body by what Guillermo Bamba was doing. Good pressure here. Good ground and pound by Bomba. This is, if you're an MMA fighter, this is called dirty fighting on the ground. This is slowly disintegrating what Castillo can do. It's a slow process of just putting him in positions where he's taking more and more damage. Almost has the full mount. Oh, now he's got an arm triangle choke. It's tight. It's, he's got it to the side. Can he finish it? He's right going to finish right it. Now. It is tight. He needs to stay with it, keep his hips down. Looking to finish the fight. It is locked in tight. It is it's all over. over. Bubba by submission. Good job. Outstanding. Good John, once he got the position, it was just the beginning of the end. It was exactly what he needed to do to be successful in the fight. Be smart. You think of all elements, and when we talk about that, that position, when he made the mistake of grabbing over the head, that's what led to everything you saw. Take a look at the finish, our Black Heart Premium Spice Drum replay, the Bolt 93 proof rum. That's edgy to the core. Nice job here. Gets to the side. That arm triangle is tight. What he wants to do is, as he's squeezing, keep those hips down. Castillo's trying to raise his hips to relieve pressure. He's putting his hand in a position where we're going to say, oh, he's trying to use the phone. It's too tight. He eventually can't get out of it. There goes the raise up again, and the pressure's too much. He taps out. Castillo was a gamer, man. He was trying to get out of it. But Bomba had it locked down, and there's the tap. Second Bellator win by submission. Here is Michael C. Williams with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the head and arm choke brings on the tap officially. Four minutes, 12 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, Guillermo Mumba Los Gonzalez.